told me all I need to know okay. and that they've answered all my questions. So. It's a big day for Valerie. That's great. In a few hours' time, she'll go under the surgeon's knife, but it will be a robot who will be holding it. So here you can see Ben on one of our robot simulators. He's moving his hands, very fluid, nice movements. And that's being transferred and translated into movements here in the robot system. So you see the arms moving here. And we can see exactly what he's doing in high definition 3D. The surgeon controls the movement. The robot holds the instruments. Here at University College Hospital, where Valerie's bladder operation is happening, this technology has seen big improvements in patient outcomes. What we were doing before is not as good as what we're doing now robotically and that's in terms of safety. Also outcomes like patient length of stay in hospital, patient recovery, blood loss. Transfer again just by picking up the underside. Underside. Yeah, so bring that, that's it. Robots though have had their critics. In the US their safety record has been questioned and here so has their value for money. But the Royal College of Surgeons support their use and many see them as the future for patients they're able to get out of hospital sooner and recover quicker and get back to normal life faster and that's hugely important for the morale of people as well as frankly for you know society and the economy at large. Valerie's surgery is going well. Ashwin is in control. After several years of training simulating surgical maneuvers hundreds of times he's now qualified to operate. Through the simulation that allows you to do repetitive movements in a safe environment gives you the confidence when you actually go into the real environment to sort of almost autopilot go in and do it. It's the high standard of training he's received at UCLH that will now be shared with training centres across the UK so other patients like Valerie can feel safe in robotic hands. Jim Weeble, BBC London News.